This tree randomly fell apart in my neighborhood the other day and it landed on a house and a few cars. So let's break down what actually happened here because there's a lot to learn. The first thing that I noticed is that it's a very nice day out. It's sunny, there's no winds, there's no severe storms or anything like that. And yet the tree just fell apart. So to me, that's a red flag that something serious was going on inside the tree and something was wrong with its structural integrity. But almost right away, I saw this big cavity, this big hole in the front of the tree on the trunk here. And what this hole says to me is that there is decay within the inside of this trunk that has been spreading probably up and down this trunk potentially for the last two decades. My thinking is that there was a branch that was growing over the road here and they needed to prune it off maybe to make clearance for vehicles or maybe they just didn't want it hanging that low. And when you prune off a branch that large, like something like this size, if you prune that off, that creates a huge wound for the tree to try to grow over and seal. And some trees cannot cover over that wound easily, especially with silver maples. They have a tough time compartmentalizing decay. They pruned it off, decay organisms got in there, the tree couldn't seal over that wound quick enough, and now decay organisms have entered the trunk and began to decay the inside, the very center of this trunk over the last few decades. You plant a street tree and you know there's a branch going out to the street that's gonna have to be pruned off for clearance in the future, prune it off while it's young. That creates a much smaller wound. It's much easier for the tree to seal over and deal with than a big wound. You can see this hole is somewhat near this branch junction that's supporting a lot of big heavy limbs. So you can imagine the decay as it's creeping up here over time, it's gonna weaken this point where these five limbs are supported. So if we take a look at some of the photos of the tree that were posted on Facebook, we can see pretty much that's exactly what happened. You can notice the light color wood here. That was the living non-decayed wood. And the darker stuff here in the middle is all rotted and decayed uh, heartwood. With the branches on the ground, you can see that there were hollows. And, and with this one here, you can see just how hollow that limb was. So ultimately the decay spread within the tree. It spread quickly because it's a silver maple. It's poor at compartmentalizing that decay and the branches just fell apart. So what can we learn from something like this? Well, the, the first thing is if you have a big tree like this and there's targets that it could fall on, you wanna get this tree inspected by an arborist at least every few years or so. A good arborist would have caught this within a second. They would have seen how decayed this was and probably would have recommended a removal. Now remember the tree had a hole for at least a few decades, I would say at least 15 years, maybe 20 years. So that's a lot of time to get an arborist involved and uh, to figure out what's going on with your tree. You can find an arborist in your area using treesaregood.org slash find an arborist. The second lesson we can learn is about pruning. Again, you wanna create small pruning wounds. If you have to remove something, do it while it's young. If you know you're gonna to have to prune this branch off because it's growing in the street, do it while it's small. It creates a small wound and it doesn't create this big wound that can become problematic in the future, that this tree can't contain the decay and eventually that caused the, d the demise of the tree. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something about trees.